Hi, Trevor from Optics Planet here. So you're buying a Steiner binocular, and now the tough choice comes into it. Do I go with a roof prism or do I go with a poro prism? Well, both are gonna work great. It really boils down to what your preference is. And there's a lot of differences between the two of them, and it's just deciding what you wanna go for. We're gonna start with the poro prism design right here. We have the Steiner Police 10 by 50. Now the reason it's called police is because it has a certain feature that generally law enforcement or military personnel like, and that's individual focus. So that means the eyepieces you actually set individually each one and you never have to worry about it again. There's no center focus knob on this one. So you set the eyepieces and it's set it and forget it and you're good to go. So we have a Poro Prism binocular. One of the ways I like to remember that is Poro P looks like a P. If you imagine down here, kind of looks like a P. A little funny, but it's an easy way to remember it. So a Poro Prism binocular does a couple things for you. It's actually generally going to give you a greater field of view and give you better depth perception. One more feature about a Steiner Poro Prism binocular is they're generally going to be less expensive. They're not as expensive as a roof prism and they're still very, very efficient binocular. So here we're going to jump to the Steiner Nighthawk 10x56 roof prism binocular. And you notice this is actually a large objective model right here. And kind of the reason why you almost call it Night Hunter. Larger the objective, going to let more light in. This is a great binocular for when it's dawn or dusk and you need to do some viewing. It's a great choice for you with a larger 56 millimeter objective lens. So we have a roof prism design and you notice right off the bat, eyepiece objective all in one line. This is a slimmer, sleeker profile that's really, really good for ergonomics. So a roof prism binocular design is great for ergonomics. One of the things I actually really like about Steiner binoculars is they have these thumb pads right back here. Now you might look at it, it's nothing, but for me, muscle memory cues in right away, so perfect. My thumbs hit them, go right up to my face. I don't have to worry about where I'm gonna hold it. My thumbs hit it there, my hands are perfectly, index finger is right on that center focus knob, and you notice it's enlarged and it's very, very easy to turn easy to find, very, very nice to be behind the glass. So you have a roof prism design that's more ergonomic. There's a great design from Steiner. It's a 10 by 56. Nice thing about Steiner is too, the eye cups. Really, really like the eye cups. Twist up, set it where you need it. If you're wearing eyeglasses or if you don't, perfect. The eye relief is gonna work for you. And on the side of the eye cups, you have the side flaps as well, so it'll cut out all glare, anything that can come in from the side. So a very, very nice feature add-on from Steiner. So you have a roof prism binocular. It's very, very good ergonomics, great design, slimmer, sleeker, great in the hands. Then you have a poro prism design. It's a little bit older fashioned, but it's still very efficient, usually less expensive, a nice choice as well. Can't go wrong with either. It's just your personal preference, what you like. Steiner gives you options for both. They give you options for poro to roof, the different features from individual focus to center focus. They give you a lot, so you can't go wrong with any Steiner binocular. You can find these at opticsplanet.com. I'm Trevor. Thanks for watching.